Hey, what's up guys? want to make a uh, video for you. It's knife related, but it's more specifically about uh, something that happens to be in this knife. And what sparked this, uh, this video is uh, someone sent me a private message and they said I got this uh, knife from my grandfather and uh, it belonged to his father and it had a Coca-Cola design to it. He knew nothing about it whatsoever. He wanted to send me a picture to see if, uh, if I knew anything about it or had any information on it. And I said, sure. You know, with the uh, the warning that I'm not a, an antique knife expert, uh, I have an interest in antique knives, but I really just can't afford to buy the ones that I really like. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have expensive taste. But um, yeah, I said, yeah, sure, can't hurt anything. I'll let you know if I know anything about it. So anyway, he mailed me the picture, and it was a, a Coca-Cola figurative knife, and uh, basically looked like a Coca-Cola bottle. And uh, the only thing I knew about it, just from looking at the picture, is that it it had a Stanhope. And I emailed back, I said, you know, unfortunately I don't know what the value is or uh, any, you know, specifics as to when it was made. But I said, just from your picture, I can see there's a Stanhope on it. And of course the email coming back to me was, you know, what the heck's a Stanhope? And so I said, you know what, I'll make a video on it. Because I'm sure the majority, I'd be willing to put some money down saying that the majority of uh, a few guys watching the video probably have never seen a Stanhope before. It's not something that's super common these days. Of course they made them for, for decades. Um, but sometimes they're in uh, some old old knives, some antique knives, and even some vintage knives, uh, and some newer commemorative or novelty knives. And that's why I have this knife out right here. This is a knife that I got from my grandfather uh, two years before he passed away. Got it for him for Christmas. He was a Freemason. He was actually really high up in the chain. But uh, anyway, um, I saw this knife at uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and I thought, you know what, that'd be a nice gift for him. So I got it for him, and then when he uh, he passed away, going through his stuff, I you know just took it back. So I just have it for you know keepsake and memories of him. But uh, anyway, real simple knife. Basically, you have your little pen blade here, and you have a pair of scissors on it. And he did actually carry this knife, and he got quite a bit of use out of it. He told me that uh, he used the scissors more than anything, uh, and he was a guy who never really carried a pocket knife before, but he you know enjoyed the gift and he found a use for it. But anyway, uh, what I liked about this knife is that it had a Stanhope in it. This right here is a Stanhope. This little circle. And I'll explain more in just a second here. But first I want to talk about... Um, uh, I'm going to have a, a separate video on this book here. But the person I'm making this video for, even though it's for everyone, the specific person who, like I said, sparked the interest in making this video, uh, I had told him about this book. So I wanted to show this real quickly. Uh, and like I said, he had a, a figurative knife, which looked like a Coke bottle. And there's a section in this. By the way, this is Collectible Pocket Knives by Dominique Pascal. And uh, it's a really interesting little pocket book here. Oh, well, it's bigger than your pocket, but it's not a large book in general. But anyway, I just want to show you um, some figurative knives. And basically, that's exactly what it is. It's a figure of something. In this case, it's a, a woman. Here are some more examples of women designs or shapes. We have a leg here. Some of you guys have probably seen figurative knives, some newer ones, you know. Here's kind of a funky one here on the right of a person. Just strange stuff. A shoe on the left, two, two different shoes. A uh, horse, leg, and hoof. There's some really interesting knives in this, this book. In fact, there's one knife in here. That I want. I want so bad. I, I can. Oh my god. I can taste it. I've looked for it for years, and I cannot not find it. And I don't know what page it is right now. I'm not going to waste time talking about it. But it's a. Um, maybe I'll find it when I do the a, a video on this book. But it's a pocket knife, and it has a little clock on it. And the only way to open the blade is to set the clock to a certain time. And I thought that was just like the coolest James Bond secretive kind of stuff. It just really sparked my interest. But. Anyway, you can see, you know, obviously this one looks like a fish, and we got a key, and, and so forth. So they're figures. It's really that simple. Here's an old one of a, uh, looks like some kind of a dog. Rabbit on the left there. On the right, another dog. Actually, really nice carved. Looks like a lab or something, laying down. But anyway, that's what a, uh, a figurative knife is. It's a knife that has a figure. Very simple. In fact, if you like this peanut design, I've, I've seen these at Smoky Mountain Knife Works as well. Uh, not like an antique one, but a modern day version of it. 
But anyway, that's what that is. I just want to show you the uh, uh, the book here briefly for that person. Some awesome <laughs> talk about a uh, collectible. I know there's a bunch of different uh, gun knives out there. Of course, I'd love one. Just don't have the money right now. But anyway, all right. So that's the book. I'll have a whole separate video on that eventually. But uh, Stanhope. That's really the purpose of this video. What the heck is a Stanhope? Sometimes they're also called peeps. And that's the Stanhope right there. Basically, you have a very small um, uh, crystal, and it's magnified. It's, it's a dome, and there's an image in there. And it's just a, a hidden image. That's all it really is. I mean, uh, you see these sometimes, like I said, on jewelry is probably most common. Sometimes pendants. Uh, a lot of religious stuff. There, you might have a pendant, like yay big or so, and it looks like a church. And then when you look inside the door, there'll be a Stanhope, and you, you know, bring it up to your eye, and you look real close. And there's a cross or, you know, Jesus on the cross or, you know, Mary or something, you know. There's a lot of religious stuff that has Stanhopes in it. But also another common thing, like I said, uh, may be um, some kind of souvenir. Maybe from a theme park or an attraction or, you know, Niagara Falls. There's some places that you would just visit and you'd buy souvenirs. But anyway, this one for the Mason's knife, this Stanhope happens to be the pyramid with the seeing eye. Which if you're a Freemason, you'll know exactly what that is. But uh, if you're not a Freemason, just all you really need to know is that uh, it happens to be on the dollar bill. But anyway, let's take a real close look at this and see what we got. So there it is. If I can get it, there we go. You can see it's a very small image and it's magnified by the lens. Now there's a hole on the other side, but you cannot view the image from this side. That hole is just to let natural light through. All right, so let me show you that again. It's no trickery or anything. It's just a little image in there. As I get close, you'll see it there. The pyramid with the seeing eye. So, pretty cool. If I can, there we go. So that's what a Stanhope is. And most people, I would say 9 out of 10 people, if you handed this knife to them, they would never, ever think to look in there. They wouldn't know what that is. They, oh, it's a little, maybe it looks like a lantern hole or something, you know. But that is what a Stanhope is. Again, also known as a peep. In fact, if you like this exact knife, um, and you're into Freemasons, you know, or if you happen to be one, or if you know someone who is, uh, this knife was like $15 on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, fantastic gift for uh, for any Freemason. But anyway, that's what a Stanhope is. I also covered figurative knives. Uh, it, you know, inadvertently, I didn't mean to, but... Just some uh, some information out there, some more knife related stuff. Even though Stanhopes, like I said, for the most part, they're not super popular with knives, but they could really be on anything. I've seen them in pipes before, smoking pipes, um, pocket watches, all kinds of stuff. But really interesting. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Either way, I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.